<laughs> Disney Plus is having a shake up and I honestly I chuckle when I when I when I read all the articles about it. When I read all the articles about this, right? So they are doing many things. One of the things that Disney is doing is they're cracking down on password sharing, <clears throat> a la Netflix. Uh, and it says, we already have the te technical capability to monitor much of this. I got said Wednesday, I'm not going to give a specific number, expect, uh, except to say that it's significant. So they're going to roll out tactics to mitigate password sharing in 2024. And then they're also going to start to do something that's, we expected they will also increase their prices to grow revenue. I believe they're not talking about grow revenue, but it, they, they, they're trying to increase their prices to not leak as much money as they're leaking before. So it will raise prices. Um, one, the ad free Disney will go to $13.99 per month, 27% price hike. The price of Hulu without ads is increasing to the $17.99 at 20% um, price hike, uh, which is competed Netflix because I think Netflix went up to $15.99 mm. or $13. Yeah, Netflix went up to $15.99, I believe, for new subscribers. The, the people are still on the $9.99 plan. They grandfathered in, I believe, and they can't um Okay. They can't raise their the grandfathered in price until a certain time or contract. Oh no, if they cancel and then they come back, they had to get it for thirteen ninety nine. But their contract says nine ninety nine, so they get to stay with it. But all the only new subscribers will get the with the new the new price hike. So Disney having to do this is not shocking, but I don't I don't think it will be sustainable. I just don't think it'll be sustainable to keep pushing out so much content and have the price so low. You know, you know, so it's a it's a twofold thing, you know. Yeah, they're uh, pushing out pushing out a lot of content, but is the content actually good? Well, you know, beyond yeah, say be, beyond the whole the the Marvel um Marvel and good Marvel and good yeah. No you know, the, la the last that was, you know, <laughs> Endgame, you know, but since then, when last Disney make a good movie? <laughs> they, just, they just get hits for those children's shows, the animated shows. They, yeah, they like, like, en like en Enc Encanto, Encanto and Encanto and thing, yeah. yeah. But like, like the the physical shows, yeah, yes, they're struggling like and they're fighting. And the they, they cut real jobs and things the other day too. Um... Yeah, so because... they focus on so like new stuff. They don't really bring this Dualata remakes, you know, Little Mermaid, which yeah. really wasn't. Uh, but everybody I, have I tried the plus. to. Uh -huh. Yeah, I tried to watch it the other day, and the accent on Sebastian was like, nah. I uh, I have not watched Little Mermaid, and um, my children <laughs> not are wrong to make me watch it. So it's probably going to stay right there. Probably well, going to I, stay right I there. personally like it was my daughter, you know, so I was watching. Yeah, 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 yeah. I get you, I get you, I get you. I mean, <laughs> daddy had to, daddy had to do what yeah, daddy had to do. I couldn't uh, take the accent. That's all right. Um, they but Paramount Plus, um, they cancel a whole set of shows. Because they were doing all sorts of Star Trek stuff, because Paramount mm -hmm. and Star Trek, and all them Star Trek shows get cancelled because they're spending too much money and they ain't making enough money. Disney go down and bounce up that same problem where they're spending too much money and they ain't making enough money because streaming, it, the streaming market just built for people to take, 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 and consume and binge watch. Now, here's my argument for streaming. Eh? My argument for streaming long, long, long time is that you shouldn't release a whole season of a show in one go. You should release this season and say, okay, new episodes come out every whatever. And that will give you some time to, to play with. But from the time a whole show come out and somebody could watch that in a weekend and they get fed, the next, the next thing is, okay, when the next one coming? What's the next thing that you're going to show me? What yeah. will? And they, 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 they're basically going for content. So I ain't saying that it had to be like, cable TV where it shows at a particular time but 
they they had a they had a slow down the 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 speed that they really shows because humans will gobble it up, and yeah, and there's no cause for that there. Yeah. yeah, and the next thing too, they'll build some build some type of hype because you know you watch something now you leave on a little cliffhanger. You get, yeah, yeah, the whole week to talk about it. News agencies or talk well, news agencies critics whoever will talk about it. You know, they'll build a little hype leading yeah. up to the next week. You know, so. And they used to do that with Game of Thrones. Game of Thrones was that like that, and you started with weekly for episodes, or you used to release the whole thing. I never, you never watched, watched Game of Thrones. Game I mean, Thrones, I, I yeah. never watched it either. But I just, <laughs> I just, you know, trying to see if I'm correct. But yeah. uh, I think, all how my wife tried to get me to watch that, I was like, no. And one of the things that 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 Netflix, well, is Netflix that causes eh? Netflix, Netflix is the first of the people that started this binge watching shippiness. In in my view, where they give you a whole show. And then you had to wait two years for the next for the next season, which yeah. has created its own market in my like it has created its own sort of new way of watching shows where you ever realize when you when you watch a show and two years later you had to wait for the thing, there's had to get a whole recap. Before yeah, and sometimes yeah, sometimes you lose interest too. If I like me, yeah. I I would lose interest. It's like yeah, two there's whole had to years. get a recap episode and thing. Yeah. So if they, if a streaming service is going to survive in the next ten years, the amount of money that they spend has to drop. The only reason they're spending plenty money is because they're trying to make content to tune out fast because people binge watching. So to me, the easiest solution is stop the binge watching shippiness and give people a steady diet of the shows that will allow you to not have to be spending millions of, millions of dollars to produce a new show every other week. Which so what you're saying is we come in full circle back to cable, back to, to cable, cable style, <laughs> but it'll be on demand cable, on demand. So, so yeah. that means, <coughs> but so we already means, have, we already have some oh, stuff like that. You no, know? no, 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 no. A new yeah, episode could, coming out on a, every Friday night. Yeah. You could watch the new episode as it premiere if you want at a particular time. That's your choice. But if you miss the episode, you could watch it whenever because the episode will always be there. And you could I've do watched. that to extent on some it have a time frame, right? You could do that to extent. Like if the show if it went, you could, you know, go back a day or two and Yeah, look yeah, at yeah. Something. Like like TiVo. Well, yeah, TiVo yeah. was the first one to do that, but it's called a DVR now. Uh, mm-hmm. uh is that DVR they call it? Yeah, DVR. Um yeah, you could you could do that and you could what you could even put the show to record and go back and watch it on cable. But yeah. nobody wore that because they want to watch it via the internet on demand on their phone or whatnot. If it's a DVR, you have to watch it on your TV. Yeah, or, or, or you could um, use a Plex server. <laughs> <laughs> Shout out to all the Plex server users out there. Yeah, we know who you are. Uh, no. <laughs> yeah, I have, a, I have a Plex server. I have a Plex server. I, I have a mini PC and I have my Plex server running. How I get my content is for you to find out, right? Um, but I still I still paying for Netflix and um some of the some of the most imp- like gripping shows that I've watched on Netflix is shows that I waited a week for for our next episode like the Better Call Saul which is a spin off of Breaking Bad. Yeah. I used to wait a week every week to watch it and still they used to take a year before they come out with the new season even mm-hmm. after you wait you wait in a week. So wait that it finished now da Yeah yeah yeah, yeah it finished now. Okay yeah. okay. Cause and it happened now, to me too. I was watching it and it's like I take a break, like yeah, three nah, years man ago. Get, the, man get, the man get a heart attack. The man get a heart attack. Oh, do I, I want to watch it though? No, no, no. He got a heart attack. Oh, in, in real life. life. Oh, okay, yeah, okay. And that's why production had to slow down because oh. of his health. And okay. that's why that's why it took so long. But okay. and even if you and then if you want to binge it after, you could binge it. But for the shows that like um popular, mm. I believe I think they should stretch it out because. The, the prices will just keep going up because remember these people they need to see profits going yeah. up and in order for profits to go up you need to get subscriptions but mm-hmm. it only has so much time available yeah. only has so much time available that people will sign up for these services and um get more and more people signing up because after you, you know get, what yeah, um you yeah. know what i noticed mm-hmm. while i was out there it was in the u.s yeah. Like cable sub cable companies like Comcast or whatever, they actually well I think they start doing it here too in Trinidad. They actually bundle 
like these services part of their cable package. So yeah, 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 yeah. Netflix, yeah. Yeah, Disney that, that Plus. Is, um, I think Flow have that right now where they just have mm-hmm. an internet only thing where they just pay for internet, Netflix and Disney Plus. Or yeah. Netflix and Max. HBO Max, but they call it Max because yeah. why, I don't know. Cinemax is still a thing? Yeah, it's still on our channel. So Cinemax I, is on our channel, but, so. but HBO just get to rename their thing Max just so that doesn't... Of course it doesn't sound close to one of their competitors. Never. Yeah. We... Yeah. Um, yeah, I not going to pay for Disney Plus. Yeah, I had it like earlier this year and I cancelled it. Uh, why, why, why you take it over Netflix? I already had Netflix while my, oh, you know, I was okay. using okay, Net- right, right, right. No, okay, so why did you take Disney Plus? I initially took it for my daughter, and I realized she don't really care about Disney, <laughs> she does watch um YouTube Kids, so I was like, yeah. yeah, and I don't watch it. My wife don't watch it, so I was like, yeah, cancel. 